First of all, thank you, George Tudos, Constable Tudos, for the introduction. Um, my name is Constable Catherine Thayer. I work out of recruitment and staff support, and we're going to speak about the different ongoing initiatives that our department does to promote um, new recruits to Peel Regional Police. I'd like to just take a moment to thank all of you for coming down this morning. I appreciate that your schedule is at the back of the room. I'd like to introduce Superintendent Manuel Rodriguez. He is the officer in charge of corporate development. With me here, Constable Mandy Bamber from Diversity Relations will be addressing the race against racism, and also Constable Ding Salman and Constable Calvin Wong. They are uniform patrol officers with linguistic skills in Mandarin and Cantonese and are available to speak as well. Thank you, Catherine, Relations Unit. And uh, we'll be talking shortly about our upcoming annual event, which is our 15th anniversary for the Race Against Racism. So many of you may have questions, why do we do different diversity-driven initiatives? And in order to continue with ongoing successes of our organization, we need to recognize that our, continue, our community is continuing to grow. And it's important for us to grow as an organization and be one that is representative of the community that we service. So we want to essentially recruit communities into policing. We have a wide range of um, experienced officers and we want to continue to augment those number of officers that represent the different segments within our community as well. Um, events like this are hosted throughout the entire year and from year to year we change different events to cater to different segments of our community. So for example, last year we ran a number of fitness oriented initiatives geared towards women we hosted a South Asian recruitment forum. And this year, we are directing an Asian recruitment forum to draw from that community. Our Asian recruitment forum is being held on Thursday, June the 18th. It's going to be at a central location at Mississauga Central Library in the Noel Ryan Auditorium. So it's Thursday evening from 6.30 till 8.30 p.m. and we're welcoming everyone to attend if you're interested in police cadet positions, police constable positions, or civilian employment opportunities. Thank you all for coming again. Um, Race Against Racism. Now this is a fun event that uh, the, the Diversity Relations Unit hosts every year. It will be taking place at the Mississauga Valley Community Center which is located at 1275 Mississauga Valley Boulevard in the city of Mississauga. Now on June 13th, which is a Saturday, it will commence at 8.45 a.m. in the morning and that starts with registration. You can also pre-register at 180 Dairy Road, which is located at the Emma Hope Center, between the times of 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Now, when you pre-register, the uh, the kit that comes with the race and the participants is uh, five dollars cheaper. So, when you pre-register, you can save money at that point. And uh, if you register the day of the race, it'll be. $10 for kids, $15 for adults, and $10 for seniors. For pre-registration, it'll be $5 for kids, $10 for adults, and $5 for seniors. Now, the race will start at uh, 10 a.m. after the Chief's remarks, and uh, will commence uh, at 11 o'clock for our ethnic entertainment, which includes a lot of uh, performance by our community, which is donated by our community. Along with that, there will be prizes being hand out, handed out to all our participants, not only the participants of the race, but uh, to the citizens of uh, our community. Uh, these prizes are all, again, donated by our community members. After entertainment, there will be uh, our lunch, which is, again, provided by our community, which is donated, and various ethnic foods, lots of variety, and a good family-filled day. Now, the race was uh, created to provide a positive environment for members for diverse cultures, religions, and ethnic backgrounds to gather for a day and promote a healthy body and climate that strongly encourages the positive values of inclusiveness. This event provides an opportunity for the competitive runners to strengthen their skills, as well as providing for all ages. An event to enjoy leisurely, healthy walk, and family-oriented seating. Now, you don't have to be a competitive runner to, uh, to join the race. You can uh, come with your family, you can walk, you can stroll a roll, uh, you can jog. We just encourage you to come enjoy a healthy environment um, and along with Peel Regional Police employees here. Now the money is being collected um, from this uh, Race Against Racism. Not only um, uh, do we keep it, but we actually channeled it back to our community by 
a diversity scholarship. In uh, October, three students from the regional appeal will be selected who had faced adversity in their past year, where it, who got sick, it could be anything from uh, injuries, and they'll be chosen and so scholarships will be handed out to them. Such as the Race Against Racism, our Asian Recruitment Forum, they're meant to promote inclusion, uh, to build community relationships with our department, and also to provide information and help us to recruit qualified candidates to consider a career in policing, and specifically with our department, Peel Regional Police. It's important to our organization to have trained investigators and officers that have linguistic skills, that have a unique cultural knowledge that we can draw upon to assist us with investigations, to assist us with community events. Sometimes it's perceived that these events you know, are reactionary or responsive to different events or special investigations that are occurring within the community. When in fact we consider and we consistently um, conduct different initiatives from year to year and on an ongoing basis. So for example, the timing of this Asian um, recruitment forum was to follow May as being Asian Heritage Month. So we've hosted this event to follow up on that community initiative as well. So again, the Asian, the Asian recruitment forum is on Thursday, June the 18th from 6.30 till 8.30 p.m. If you are interested in registering, you call our recruitment bureau at 905-453-3311, extension 3840. You would need to provide your name, a contact number, and an email address, and your name will be added to the registration list. We will have officers that speak various dialects, We'll have officers that speak Mandarin, speak Cantonese, that are available to families. We encourage parents of young applicants to come forward, community members as well. We will have members from our recruitment, so our file investigators. We will have members from our fitness staff available. We will have a representative from applicant testing services who can speak about the initial pre-screening that any recruit constable would need to go through in order to qualify themselves for entry into a career in policing. We will have auxiliary members and cadets from our organization there as well. And lastly, but certainly not the least, our Chief of Police, Jennifer Evans, will be present on that night as well. So I'd like to just thank you for again coming out this morning and assisting us in promoting these events within the community. Can I ask the first question? Sure. You can. Uh, what's the current staff number and what's the current position of diversity in the region of police? Um, I don't have any specific statistics on the current demographics. Um, every year, Peel Regional Police produces an Equal Opportunity Report. Uh, the 2013 Equal Opportunity Report is public information. It's available on our website, website, and we are in the process of composing the final data for 2014, and that should re be released um, in the near future. How about staff um, number? As far as hiring numbers, um, our anticipated numbers of hires for 2015 in recruitment, which caters to all segments, is upwards of 100 for police constables and cadets. And then with civilian employment, um, when opportunities are available, they get posted on our website. So you would have to go to peelpolice.ca, look under the jobs and opportunity headings, look under civilian employment or police constable and cadet. We currently are um, accepting applications and have vacancies as a mechanic in our building maintenance and also as a video producer. So if anyone is interested in those positions, applications are submitted online for those civilian opportunities. Total number of manpower in, in Peel Region Police? Uh, we have almost 2,000 uniform members and uh, approximately 900 civilian members within our organization. Thank you. And you don't have the number of how many Asian officers no, not specifically. Um, what happens is when people apply or individuals apply to our department, it's a voluntary uh, questionnaire. So they voluntarily disclose their ethnicity. So not all of that information is captured specifically per each individual segment of our community. Yeah, I know. That, but Peel Region is uh, increasing and growing. That uh, we, When you compare the manpower to uh, your region and uh, Toronto Police, they have many uh, Asian officer, Asian origin officer who will speak other languages. So, um, but Peel region seems not that much of the uh, Asian officer. So that's why you have the uh, promoting today. 
that's why we certainly want to increase you know those officers with different language skills that are reflective of the community and these initiatives help to do that help to encourage members of our community that, that might you know have misconceptions and and you know uh, to encourage them to apply with our service so certainly we draw from all segments of our community and the, the diverse initiatives that we do helps to recruit those individuals and give them more knowledge and more information so that they, they can then go through with the pre-screening assessments and testing and um, complete our application process and hopefully ultimately successfully be hired by our department. But how can you compete with the uh, York Regional Police and the Toronto Police to get more <laughs> Asian officers to be here? Well, we just have to try and, um, you know, come up with different recruitment initiatives. Sometimes the traditional methods of recruitment aren't always successful and don't always yield the most um, benefits or results for us. So continuing to do events like this to develop new initiatives, um, recognizing sometimes where applicants have struggles in the application process. So, for example, one of the barriers, is, you know, with women is the physical elements. So we developed two unique programs last year to try and increase and um, help to strengthen women coming through the process. So we conduct these initiatives to, you know, put us on a level where we compete with other services that may perhaps maybe have higher representation within different cultural groups. Can I ask the two Asian police, police officers to talk about your, your experience inside the regional police? Like what, what you are joining and how, how you feel about joining it? For now, in the 21st century, I'm Cindy. I started working with Pure Regional Police in 2013. When I was applying, I was applying for Police Constable position. When I started working here, I had a lot of opportunities to develop in the whole police industry. I had a lot of opportunities. 所有的嗯， um, 我的同事们对我都有非常多的帮助，他们每一个方面都对我有很大的激励。因为我的嗯、um, 中文的技术，我在很多嗯啊、um, 呃、审查或者是在调查方面有很大的进展。诶、嗯，咁我啱啱参加咗皮衣警察一年到啦，咁我非常之开心，我有咁嘅机会诶嚟去做警察。咁警察系一个非常之。艱難嘅工作，但係亦都係非常之誒，好、呃、開心做到呢、這個做到警察，去服務翻我個社會。啊，咁做咗一年到啦，誒、呃、有好多唔同嘅機會去同個社會去分享我自己啲經驗。咁因為我識講廣東話啦，咁我有好多唔同嘅機會去參加唔同嘅誒嘅嘅嘅工作。咁所以總括嚟講，過去嗰一年我非常之開心，咁我都建議大家有有興趣嘅年青人去參加皮革警察。這項工作作為一個女性，也作為一個中國人，是一件非常不容易的，是是不是一個很容易的工作？但是自從在這上班之後，已經一年多了，我覺得是一個非常不錯的工作，是對。你的身心都非常健康的一个环境，我激励所有的人，特别是女性，中国的女性，会说普通话、会说广东话的，都尽量嗯申请参加。这是一个政府的工作，你做的是公务员，嗯，用中文话来说是铁饭碗，这是嗯，作为一个移民来说是最好的一份工作，嗯，我有非常非常正面的啊、嗯、工作的经验，我希望能。在未来的几年当中，能看到更多的中国人参加这个工作。Uh, really, that varies, um, you know, from officer to officer. We have officers that can speak, you know, upwards of four or five languages. Um, my spell, myself, I speak English. Je parle français aussi. Uh, these officers here speak fluent English. When I, oh, and you know, Mandarin, Cantonese. Um, we have officers that speak Hindu, um, Urdu, Punjabi, Gurdwara, um, Japanese, Chinese. Uh, you know, it, it crosses all segments. So we do have officers that are available within our department to assist with investigations and translations. When an officer may not have a certain ling linguistic skill, we do have connections within the community that provide those independent services as well. Um, just to go on as well, above and beyond these initiatives that we do in these specific forums, we conduct ongoing public information sessions on a monthly basis within Peel Regional Police. So we hosted one in May. 
there is the information available on our website for our next public information session, which is being hosted on Thursday, August the 13th. So again, you visit our website, you call our recruitment bureau, 905-453-3311, uh, extension 3840 to register that. Other initiatives that we do as well um, to promote applicants becoming familiar and having the opportunity to explore the physical components of testing and entry into policing, we conduct a monthly uh, prep, which is the police readiness evalu or physical readiness evaluation for police uh, practice sessions. So we typically have three to four different sessions per month. Um, we usually offer one on the weekend, a couple midday that run typically from 10 till 12 uh, till noon or 12. Um, we have a capacity of usually 30 individuals per those segments. They're run by our fitness department and again you just call our recruiting bureau to have your name put on the list. You can come to our department, practice the two components of the prep being the circuit restraint and the pursuit shuttle run as well. <coughs> We also, um, once applicants come to us, um, prior to applying with Peel Regional Police, they must go through independent pre-screening, and that's done through an outside organization called Applicant Testing Services. So they do all the pre-screening for any individual looking to enter into a career in policing throughout the province of Ontario. So applicanttesting.com is the website for additional information. Applicants must obtain their certificate of results from ATS prior to being eligible to apply with any police service in the province. So once applicants have their certificate of results, they would then visit our website and they would look for what's called an assessment date. They would register and create a profile online and select any of the assessment dates that would then be available. They would attend on that assessment date, complete a pre-background questionnaire, um, write two paragraph responses that have a local focus and then conduct a mini interview. So two recruiting officers and one applicant. If they successfully pass that initial pre-screening stage within our department, then they would advance within the process. We would send them that notification by email and they would have 30 days to complete their personal history forms and submit it to our department. From then, the applicants go through our internal hiring process. So I can identify those steps for you. Once they submit their paper application to Peel Regional Police, it would be assigned to the sergeant in our recruiting bureau who would then allocate that file to one of our recruit investigators. That recruit investigator would take that applicant through all the other stages of our process. That would include calling them in for an in-depth interview. It would include psychological assessments, setting up a follow-up interview with a psychologist, meeting with the sergeant in our recruiting bureau, having a home visit, completing a pre-board fitness assessment, and then they would have their board interview. Yeah. 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 Yeah.